Hi, let us study now triangle. Triangle is a polygon with three sides. But first, we're going to study right triangle. When we say right triangle, one of the angle of a right triangle is equivalent to 90 degrees. Okay? In a right triangle, we'll be using the Pythagorean theorem in order to find the sides of the triangle. Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse is equivalent to the square of the altitude plus the square of the base. Okay? So from here, a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared and b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared where a, b, and c are the sides of the triangle. Given here, a is equal to 2 square root of 2 and B is equal to 3 square root of 2. Let us now find side C. Using the formula, we have here C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. And C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. Now let us substitute. C now is equal to the square root of 2 square root of 2 squared plus 3 square root of 2 squared. Okay? And this gives us C equal to the square root of 2 squared is 4 and square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. So 4 times 2 is... 8. This is 3 square root of 2 squared. 3 times 3 is 9. And square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. 2 times 9 is 18. Therefore, we have C equal to the square root of 26. That is our final answer. Let us continue. Example number 2, given C is equal to 10 inches, B is equal to 6 inches, what is side A? So we have A squared is equal to C squared minus B squared. Okay, A now is equal to the square root of C squared minus B squared. Let us substitute now, A is equal to the square root of 10 squared minus 6 squared. A now is equal to the square root of 100 minus 36. And that gives us A equal to 100 minus 36 is 64. And the square root of 64 is 8. Okay, so we have 8 inches for side A. Okay, example number 3 given, C is equal to 5 centimeter, side A is equal to 3 centimeter, and we're going to find side B. Now we have B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. And B is equal to the square root of C squared minus A squared. Let us substitute again. B is equal to 5 squared minus 3 squared. And B is equal to the square root of 5 times 5 is 25 minus 9. That is 25 minus 9 is 16. And the square root of 16 is 4. 4 centimeter is our side B. Okay? Let us continue. Pythagorean theorem can only be used if there are two sides given. But what if there is only one side given and an angle? Okay? So that's the limitation of the Pythagorean theorem. If the given is an angle and a side, then we'll be using Sokatoa. What is Sokatoa? Sokatoa means the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. While the cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tangent of an angle is equal to opposite over the adjacent side. Okay, that is Sokatoa. 
The opposite of angle A is side A, and the adjacent side of angle A is side B, while the hypotenuse is side C. Okay? The opposite of angle B is side B, and the adjacent of angle B is side A, and still the hypotenuse is side C. Okay? In formula, sine of A is equal to A over the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is C. Okay? Cosine of A is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse. What is the adjacent of angle A? That is side B over the hypotenuse, which is side C. Tangent of a is equal to opposite over adjacent. What is the opposite of angle A? That is side A. And the adjacent is side B. Okay. Next, what is the sine of B? Sine of B is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. But that is B over C. The cosine of angle B is equal to Adjacent over hypotenuse. But what is the adjacent of angle B? It is side A over the hypotenuse side C. Tangent of B is equal to opposite over the adjacent. What is the opposite of angle B? It is side B over the adjacent which is side A. So those are the formula we'll be using in solving problems if the given is an angle and a side. Can you follow? Okay. Let us continue. Now we have angle A equal to 30 degrees and side A equal to 5 centimeter. We cannot use here Pythagorean theorem because the given are side A 5 centimeter and angle A is equal to 30 degrees. So let us find B c and angle b okay so let us first solve for angle b angle b is equal to 90 degrees minus a or angle a then angle b is equal to 90 degrees minus 30 degrees okay and angle b is equal to 60 degrees. So we're done with angle B. Let us now solve for side C. Sine of A is equal to A over C. And sine of 30 degrees is equal to 5 centimeter. Then solving for C, we have here 5 over the sine of 30 degrees and the sine of 30 degrees is 0 0.5 therefore c is equal to 10 centimeters okay next we have next let us find side b side b is equal to the square root of c squared minus a squared okay b now is equal to the square root of 10 squared minus 5 squared and that is equal to the square root of 100 minus 25 and b is equal to the square root of 75 centimeter that is side b can you follow okay let us continue given here angle b is 60 degrees and side a is equal to 4 inches let us now find side b side c and angle a so first let us solve for angle a angle a is equal to 90 degrees minus b or angle b and a is equal to 90 degrees minus 60 degrees and angle A is equal to 
30 degrees. That is your angle A. Now, let us solve for side C. Let us now solve for side B. Okay? Tan B is equal to B over A. Okay? So, solving for side B now is equal to A times tangent of B. And B is equal to A, which is 4, times the tangent of 60 degrees. Therefore, B is equal to 4 times the tangent of 60 is 1.732. Using your calculator, B now is equal to 6.928. Inches. Okay? So that is our side B. Now let us solve for side C. Okay? C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. Alright? So C is equal to the square root of 4 squared plus 6.928. Squared, okay? C is equal to the square root of 16 plus 48, okay? So, C is equal to the square root of 16 plus 48 is 64, alright? And the square root of 64 is 8. So, we have C equal to 8 inches. I hope you got it. Thank you.